As I walked around our food security garden a few days ago, I was struck by how much was growing. Then I realized just how many different ways we have to talk about growth. We could talk about how big the tomatoes are getting, or how high the potato plants are, or the abundance of green beans. We could talk about how many different vegetables we planted. I counted 14, but at the Garden Information Center, I learned we have 18 different crops. We could talk about how much produce we're able to give away, or how the garden has expanded over the years. All these are legitimate examples of growth. Similarly, we found as we went through the visioning process that we had many different ways to talk about growth as a church. So it was important for us to define what we meant by growth, especially for the second part of our mission statement, growing as a community. So what kind of growth do we mean? What are we looking for? How will we know if we are growing? For our purposes, we identified three kinds of growth, numerical, spiritual, and growth in our resources. Here's what we mean by each of those. Numerical. A church grows in numbers in two ways. Most often, people join the church who may have come from another church, or just moved to town, or are perhaps returning to church. The other way a church grows is through people who don't know Jesus starting to attend and getting involved. Recently, we have experienced quite a lot of this first kind of growth. We are absolutely delighted at the people who have chosen to walk through our door and join us. Having the other kind of growth happen, having people who don't know Jesus start attending, takes more intentional focus and effort than the first kind. And it's this kind of growth where we feel we particularly have room for improvement. We want to be a place where people new to church can feel at home. We want to intentionally build relationships with people inside and outside our church. We want to welcome people and connect them with others in the community. We want to see people come to a life-changing relationship with Jesus. So when we think about numerical growth, while we truly delight in each person who calls Courtright home, we want to prioritize our efforts around adding people to our community who are new to faith and church. Spiritual. Spiritual growth is vital. We are not an enterprise that cares only about numbers. We are on mission to see lives transformed. So while we do believe numerical growth is important, we hold that together with the importance of spiritual growth. Or another way to put that is we want to grow both wide and deep. Wide meaning more people are involved and deep in our faith, relationships, and strength of community. When we talk about spiritual growth, we are thinking about deep growth, lifelong discipleship, particularly in terms of our character, practices, community, and service. What evidence of spiritual growth do we seek in our character? Do we demonstrate integrity? Are we the same people at church as we are at home and at work? Can people see the fruit of the Spirit in our lives? Things like mercy, kindness, gentleness, peace, love, and joy. Courtright facilitates spiritual growth through our practices, our disciplines and sacraments. Do we study scripture together other than on Sunday? Do we spend time with God in prayer? Do we have times of stillness and solitude throughout our week? As a community, what is the importance of baptism and communion? Many of us have different ways that help us individually connect with God and grow in our faith. To grow together as a community, we need to share those practices with one another, accompanying each other in our walk with God. This summer, Kristen Recker helped lead a service where she shared two examples of the kinds of tools that you can use. Gospel contemplation, using our imagination to sit with a particular passage, and praying through scripture, letting the words of scripture shape our prayers. We want to be a community that is learning together and sharing what we have learned, equipping one another to go deeper in our walk with God. We also believe that growing spiritually means growing in our life together as a community. It's having our lives become more intertwined, bringing meals to one another when we need some support, taking a walk to listen when someone's having a hard time, watching a couple's kids so that the parents can have some time together, it's being chosen family for one another, adopting one another as grandparents, aunts, uncles, sisters, and brothers. It's having the kinds of relationships where we can speak the truth in love to one another as we challenge each other to grow in our likeness to Christ. That kind of community and depth of relationship takes time, a lot of time together. As I mentioned, one way we can do this is in serving others. 
just before he went to the cross, Jesus gave us a powerful example saying, if you want to love me, serve one another. Take the posture of a servant. There are so many opportunities to serve at Courtright. We need more people who are hospitable to make people feel at ease and who are willing to take initiative on Sunday mornings to greet people they don't recognize. We have opportunities to serve kids and youth, to connect with some of our seniors, lead a small group, or mentor someone who wants to grow in their faith. But we also want to be known for our service outside these walls, in our neighborhoods and across the city. Whether individually or collectively, we want to partner with organizations who are doing excellent work and support their efforts. Our new Dover Cliff Park Community Food Cupboard is a great example of this. We're partnering with the Guelph Food Bank to support critical work in providing food to those with limited resources. We are helping make food more accessible in our own neighborhood. Resources. Finally, we are thinking of growth in terms of our resources, both our financial resources and the people needed to accomplish our vision. We want to continue to be good stewards with the resources God has given us, including our finances and our building. And we want to be well resourced so that we can be effective when God calls us to serve one another, our Dovercliff Park community, our city and beyond. As I shared earlier here at Courtright, we have many opportunities to serve, but as you know, we need more people to get involved. We need more people to take leadership roles and develop others to take responsibility. What more could an increase in finances or volunteers enable us to do? We see an increase in financial giving and new volunteers joining us in this work as an important way that we want to grow in this season so that we are equipped to live out our mission as best we can. Today, we talked about the growing part of growing as a community. Stay tuned next week where we will talk about community, a word that gets used all the time and is seldom defined. We'll consider what we mean by community and how growing as a community fits with our mission at Courtright. We can't wait to see the growth that God has for us in terms of people being added to our numbers, our depth of faith and relationships, and an increase in our resources to enable this to be possible. We hope you will join us as we are rooted in Jesus, growing as a community, and becoming trusted neighbors.